but we can move on to the Amari portion of it. And the fact they didn't restructure with him is fascinating. I wonder if they're looking at it like we can't pay three wide receivers, you know, and for whatever reason they're not sold on Amari Cooper, otherwise they restructure with him. Is it possible they're thinking, let's keep Gallup on a smaller deal, we have C.D. Lamb, and we could trade Amari Cooper for defense or trade Amari Cooper for a pick? And now you now you'll let me pick a wide receiver, right? Yes, I'll let you pick a wide receiver. Absolutely, <laughs> you could Waddle take another time. one either either at ten or in the second or third round. You know, uh, if the defensive yeah. player is not there at ten, take a wide receiver, trade your wide out for a veteran or another pick to get defensive help somewhere else. Yeah, yeah I think I think you're reading the tea leaves right. Sorry, Brian. I no, appreciate you, Brian. If you watch us on the online, when my stuff freaks out, I just pat myself in the ears to let you know that I'm dead for the moment. I was trying to get you there. Sorry yeah, about that. I, yeah. I slipped. I slipped back in. Um, I, I you're reading the tea leaves right. You've got to be because Amari Cooper is a young wide receiver that's been really good for the Cowboys. And if you need to clear space, that's a pretty safe way to do it. And the way they structured his contract initially was two years of it is guaranteed, and then it's over. The next three years, if we want you, we can keep you. If we don't, They're just dating this dude. He's a top-10 wide receiver. I don't get it. Right. So they didn't move his money, so they are keeping their options that after this year, if they wanted to, they could move on for Amari Cooper, who does have value, and they could do it with no monetary hit, basically, right around zero. Um, And they, I, I, I mean, surely that's intentional. That they kept that possibility alive. Yeah, we talked about it the other day. That you know, what's the, what's the best plan of attack? And it was, hey, don't do the defensive end, don't do the running back, don't do the linebacker. You know, figure out ways to maybe move with Amari Cooper because you feel like that he gives you the best value. Well, what they just told you is like, no, we're going to continue to have the flexibility to move on from Amari Cooper if we have to. In general, I don't, I don't, I can't uh, throw the wet blanket on your idea if they, if they. F- in fact, find a trade partner. That 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 avenue for attack is clear and could be used. And I, I think that's something that they want to have that that those flexibilities that we talk about. You would not want to cut him, but he would be worth a first round pick or a good defensive player. And if you already have two good wide receivers after CDs falling in your lap, if you you know if you don't have enough defense available, trading Amari Cooper for assets would could make a ton of sense. Maybe we need to see because I like the theory. If it makes you better, it, it's yeah. great. Um, what's available, and then what other triggers they flip because right now we figure they have 19 million dollars with a cap room and then let's say five million dollars of that or so is going to end up going to the draft that leaves you with 10 million dollars well i can't do very i really can't do very much with 10 million dollars yeah you know i was told mike though that all the time that we think about cap space don't because they've got money that money's allocated for other things so when you see 19 million dollars They've got slush funds they worry about. They've got injury Brian, protection Brian, things. Brian, we're out here trying to get our shine on. Get us a guy, maybe a couple no, I, of guys. I, I, no, I'm with you guys. I am totally <sighs> with you guys on this. But, I mean, I, I've been corrected on this more than 10 times already. That people yeah. are like, listen, you say $19 million, we've got three. You know, because we've got all these other things that we have to think about that we have to plan for. And so, I, I'm just... I'm just trying to educate. So this isn't for players. Yeah, I don't. We'd have to have like 45 available I, or something yeah, to start I, thinking about. I would, I would say because Stephen Jones was talking about well draft and will and all that. We 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 went through all that, but they look at this as okay. We've got 19 million dollars. You know, we've got other things for plan for it too. But but Fish, are are you possibly suggesting that in order to get more, that a restructure of Amari might be coming up? Uh, I if, if there's something to if there's something worth 12 million to buy then you restructure Amari Cooper. Keep him and buy it. If there's another toy worth $12 to buy, restructure Tank and go buy it. If there's another $6 million toy to go buy, restructure Zeke and go purchase it. And this would be Wildcat and Jerry at its best. Well, if you want to flip all those switches and really, really go for it and then acknowledge, boy, by 2023, we're going to eat a bunch and go into a real downturn while we re- rebuild, that's fine. I, you know, with an aging offensive line with Tank at 30, now's the time to try to get that done before your core's too old. I, I don't think there'd be anything wrong with that strategy.